Hey everybody, Brian here from touringplans.com, of course. You probably saw our videos a few weeks ago. Angela and I each did a video about personalized touring plans focusing on doing the personalized touring plans on the site. But of course, that's only part of the utility of touringplans.com because we have a mobile app as well called Lines. We have Lines available in the various app stores for Disney World, Disneyland, and Universal Orlando. I'm gonna be showing you the Disney World version today because it is our most popular one, but the idea is basically the same for all versions. So I have here an old iPhone that I am going to split the screen with now. This is my first time trying this screen recording, so hopefully it goes well so I can use it, you know, in the parks and things like that too. But uh, this is a good test. So as you see, I have WDW lines up here. It's the only app I have on this screen because why would I need another app, right? So when you open it, opening it looks like this. What you see on here are the current status and hours for the four Walt Disney World parks including the extra magic hours that are today happening at Hollywood Studios and Animal Kingdom. It is Saturday, August 11th when I'm filming this. You are hopefully watching it only a few days later. Uh, you will notice that on here as well. So before I do anything on here, what I am going, first thing I'm going to do is log in because logging in, having an account opens up a lot more things on here. All right, so now I am logged in. I will try, I know on the screen capture, it doesn't show where exactly I'm clicking and things like that. I will try to explain it. So let's start off with all of this stuff that is at the bottom here. We have home, which is where we are now. That's why it is highlighted in blue. Parks, plans, chat, and 10 day. That is the 10 day crowd calendar forecast. The parks obviously are the parks. Tapping that brings up this kind of little sub menu. If I click on one of the parks, I'll click on Magic Kingdom right there and it brings up all the attractions. If I go back to home, I'm gonna click on this home button right there and click on any of the parks up here, it does the same thing. So if I click Magic Kingdom up here, tap Magic Kingdom, I guess I'm not clicking anything, I don't have a mouse, but I'm old, just old enough to not know what words to use there. From these park pages, you can see current wait times. As you see, it is currently 9.42 a.m. It says towards the top here. Seven Doors Mine Train right now. The expected wait, 53 minutes. Posted is 60 minutes. For those of you who may not know, the difference in those two numbers is Disney posts certain wait times. Right now, their posted wait time for Seven Doors Mine Train is 60 minutes. But we at Touring Plans have a lot of data on what these wait times actually are going to be. The expected time is what we think your actual wait in line will be. Sometimes it only differs by a few minutes, like it does with Seven Doors Mine Train there. It's a seven minute difference out of an hour. That's not a huge amount. But sometimes it can go quite a bit less than what the posted time is. Look here at Big Thunder Mountain down here. It is posted at a 50 minute wait, but we think it is only going to be a 25 minute wait. You'll also notice the advice. Uh, most of these say ride now, lines will not go down. It is still fairly early in the morning, so these lines probably will just get longer during the day. So any of these you can just ride now. I'll move on. The chat is a, a nice little chat window just for our community. A lot of times they can help you with more short term stuff. It's meant to be used when you're inside the park, things like that. We also do have forums at Touring Plans. It's forum.touringplans.com, which is for more long-term kind of planning things. 10-day forecast, I will click on that one. That is just the upcoming crowd calendar. This is today, Saturday, August 11th. You can see what the crowds are. You know, a medium day, fives at both Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdoms, four at Animal Kingdom, six at Epcot, and it will show you for the next 10 days. And there is a link at the bottom to get to the full crowd calendar. Now, if you don't have a smartphone that can get to these, or if you're just having a problem with them for the moment, you can always go to m.touringplans.com, m as in mobile. And it will show you basically the same thing without going through the app. So if you are having a problem, I would suggest to trying that first. Let's get to the meat of it. Plans. Click on the plans here is the shortcut. You can also get there from the home screen. So let's go back to the home screen for a second. Down here, you will see the trips you have coming up. Scrolling down even further, we have more things. Ticket calculator that isn't as helpful when you're on site. Hopefully you have tickets by then. What is super helpful, this search menus 
by location, search menus for items if you're looking for specific things, but that's probably gonna be another video. Believe it or not, I try not to make these all like 20 minutes long, even though they tend to be. So let's go back to plans. Now I could click the blue plus add plan button right here that I'm hovering my thumb over, but you can't see that part. Or going back to the plan screen down here, it will show me all of the plans. Now, if I want to use a pre-made plan, I could click any of these, whatever park I'm in. If I'm in Hollywood Studios, I'm gonna tap Hollywood Studios and it will show me all of the available plans and that I can choose from, I can optimize them, I can do all sorts of stuff from there. But I want to make a new plan. I wanna do it from scratch. Let's say I wanna make a plan for tomorrow. First thing I'm gonna do is click Edit Date and Times up here. And now I'm actually gonna skip through past some of this and go straight to the date. So the date, August 12th. So I roll down a little 12, hit done. August 12th, I wanna do the park as Hollywood Studios. So I scroll down to Hollywood Studios. There we go. Now I'm gonna go back up. I, let's say for the purposes of this, I will be staying on site. So I will use an extra magic hour if available. And the magic extra magic hour should be available at Hollywood Studios tomorrow. They're right now on there. Every day is an extra magic hour morning there. Uh, sure, if extra magic hours are in the evening, I'll take those too. So let's pick that. There's not gonna be a hard ticket available. I'm gonna leave the start and finish time blank for now. And it will just use the park hours. A name. Let us pick a name. Let's call this super original name because I can't think of a super original name. Actually, I do recommend creating new plans in on the desktop version for the most part. It's just a little bit easier. The Lines app is obviously more useful in the parks when you're on your trip. Uh, beforehand, I find it a little easier to manipulate, but it can be done on the app, which is what I'm doing right here. So, all right, I have my plan all set up. Now I just have to add steps. If you click the plus step button all the way in the top right corner there, you will add one step at a time. As it is telling me if I wanna add multiple attractions at once, and trust me, you do when you're creating a new plan, you click right in the middle there where it says tap here to add multiple attractions at once. Now this can only be done when you create a new plan. Once you have a plan or if you're modifying a plan, you have to add everything one at a time. Same, you do have to do that on the desktop version, but again, I find it just a little bit easier. That might just be my age too. So I'm going to tap that to add multiple attractions at once. Let's do that. Number of fast pass opportunities in group one, I will have two of those. And in group two, I will have one of those. And it tells you the attractions available in each group. The Alien Saucer Slinky Dog Toy Story Mania group at Hollywood Studios is the one where you're only allowed to have one uh, in advance. Let's check what I want to do. I want to do Alien Swirling Saucers. I want to do I want to do all the rides. There's only six of them anyway. So for now, let's just pick the the six ride or the six rides plus Muppet Vision are what I will pick. Rock and Roller Coaster, Slinky Dog, Star Tours. Come on, big fat fingers, click that button. Tower of Terror, Toy Story Mania. All right, I think I got them all there. And submit. All right, plan has been updated. It is not optimized. As you'll look, there are no wait times here. So next I hit optimize and it will optimize for tomorrow. Now, if you don't pick a date, it will automatically assume you are in the park right now and it will optimize for right now. So if you're doing it like I am right now when the parks are open, it will show weird times. It will show that you're not getting to an attraction until 10 a.m. because it's almost 10 a.m. right now. So if you are doing it in advance, make sure you select that date. Now, unlike the desktop version, the mobile version does not repopulate when the optimization is finished. You have to do it yourself. You will see a refresh plan button. You just give it, you know, it says 45 seconds. You can then click that refresh plan and look, it is done. It says it has been optimized less than a minute ago. And now it has the order here. Now I didn't actually, put, I selected a number of fast passes that I would have, but I didn't actually enter any fast passes yet. So it is assuming right now that I do not have any. But what it is telling me is my priority. So you'll see the steps here. It tells me to go to Rock and Roller Coaster at 8.06 a.m., which is during the extra magic hour. You'll notice up here under the select plan, this plan info, it says it is using scheduled morning extra magic hour. So it is using that for Rock and Roller Coaster, for Tower of Terror, then has me going to Alien Swirling Saucers, which you'll notice this note here, Fast Pass Plus Priority 2 of 2 in Group 2. So that is telling me 
that it has given me two options for a fast pass. This would be the second option if I couldn't get my first option, which to no one's surprise is Slinky Dog Dash. Well, right now it has me doing Slinky Dog Dash at 925 with a wait of 36 minutes. That is actually uh, because the wait times for Slinky Dog Dash have been going down quite a bit lately, but because so many people still go there, if you're not in that first group, the wait times stay kind of consistent for the next hour or so. So if you can't be there at 801, you might as well just wait until 9 or 930 and the wait time will still be in that 30 to 45 minute range. We actually did a video a little while ago in the Magic Kingdom about Seven Dwarves Mine Train where we found a very similar thing. If you couldn't be in the first, say, 200 people that were there, you were almost better off waiting until a half hour after the park opened and get in line then and go ride Peter Pan first. Uh, if you want to see that video, I'm linking it right there. It is popping up if you want to watch that after you've finished watching this one, of course. But Slinky Dog Dash is similar. If you can't be there first thing, you may as well just wait and do it after a few. And then I go through the rest, Star Tours, Muppet Vision 3D. As you will see, I am ending this plan somewhere around 10.45, 11 a.m. It has me arriving at Muppet Vision 3D at 10.28 a.m. Wait for five minutes, 17 minute duration. So yeah, it's right about 10.50 or so is when I am totally done with this plan, which sounds about right for Hollywood Studios right now. So... Let's say I do manage to get a few fast passes. So let's go back and add that in. All the way back towards the top here, you will see Edit Plan and Fast Pass Plus. I want to click that one right there. Now scroll under here, Fast Pass Plus Selections. You tap Add Reservation. And you can add, let's say I do manage to get that Slinky Dog at 9 a.m. And I also managed to get rock and roller coaster at 10 a.m. and tower of terror at 11 a.m. now go i go down here i hit submit it's submitting and re-optimize the plan and here we go. Now you'll see this big giant green note at the top saying, it does not use my FastPass Plus reservation for Tower of Terror. Let's check out why. So, and you know what? It doesn't have me using mine for Rock and Roller Coaster either, because it still says I'm better off just going there first, then riding Alien Swirling Saucers with a wait of 16 minutes, then jumping on Toy Story Mania and using my Slinky Dog Dash Fast Pass. Now you'll see I'm getting to Muppet Vision, my last attraction once again, at 9.59 a.m. So now I'm done with my plan by about 10.20. Just using even that one Fast Pass, I've saved myself about a half an hour of time. Which makes sense. Slinky Dog Dash before was a 36-minute wait. But let's say I don't like that. I want to do, I want to use those, those other Fast Passes. So what I am going to do is move Alien Swirling Saucers to the top. So I go down here to the Alien Swirling Saucers step and I click Move Step Up. Now this is something that is definitely easier to do on the desktop because you can only move these steps up one at a time. So if you want to move something from the bottom to the top, it's a lot of tapping. And I'm going to move Toy Story Mania up because I'm going to do that after I do Alien Swirling Saucers. I'm going to move my Slinky Dog Dash up right after Toy Story Mania. May as well do all three of them at once. And then, rather than click the Optimize button, I'm going to click Evaluate. Evaluate will not move my steps around. It will simply update the wait times, update the walking times. Those first three attractions may not actually take me an hour to do. So it may have me wait around to use my Slinky Dog Fast Pass. It may tell me just to get on the ride without using it, but let's check it out. Yeah, so what it has me doing now is riding Alien Swirling Saucers, still a 16-minute wait, even getting there at 8.08 a.m. That's why it didn't have me doing it first before. The wait hasn't changed. Then Toy Story Mania with an 11-minute wait. Then see this free time right under in Toy Story Mania. It goes wait duration, then free time. It has 10 minutes of free time now, which basically is just me hanging out, waiting for my Slinky Dog Dash Fast Pass to start. Then exactly at 9 a.m., I jump on that, wait six minutes, and then it doesn't have me using my Rock and Roller Coaster or Toy Store or Tower of Terror Fast Pass anyway, because they just aren't ready yet. There's not a lot of attractions. 
So let's go back to the plans and we will modify one. So I'm gonna go into my personalized plans here and I am just gonna pick this copy of the Magic Kingdom unofficial guide, one day touring plan for parents with small children that we have on the site. Now, one other thing that I haven't mentioned yet, you can select a plan right here in the middle underneath all these notes that don't really matter at the moment. It says select plan. If I do that and I select that plan, you will not really see much of a difference in the plan. But now if I go back to the home screen and scroll down a little bit to my touring plans, you will see a note that says view selected touring plans. This is basically just a quick hyperlink to your selected plan. It's super useful when you're in the parks. So right now I'm going to pretend I am in the park just to give you a brief overview of what that looks like and how to modify your plans. So I'm going to view that selected touring plan. So I have made sure it is for today's date. It is now after 10 a.m. So this is not going to be the most optimal Magic Kingdom touring plan, but I'm still going to click that optimize button and see where it tells me to go. Now it is assuming I am at the park entrance, which I will show you in a minute as soon as it is done submitting here. You will see that up towards the top here, your location, park entrance, and then a hyperlink, are you somewhere else? If you tap that, you are allowed to pick a different location if you are not starting at the park entrance. And it has all the lands listed right here that I could pick, but I am starting at the park entrance. I have already optimized this, so it is telling me to go straight to Seven Doors Mine Train where I do have a fast pass from 9 to 10 a.m. Luckily, Disney does unofficially allow you a 15 minute buffer on the end of that fast pass because I will not get there until 10, 13 a.m which is 13 minutes outside my window. One helpful thing in the parks, this also acts as a checklist. So when I'm done riding Seven Doors Mine Train, I simply tap done. It saves, now it takes that off. And now you will notice at the top here, my location has changed to near Seven Dwarfs Train because it knows I just did that. Now my next stop is Haunted Mansion. You can also time your wait. Timing your wait actually helps us a ton, not just giving us Disney's posted wait times, that is helpful, but actually timing your wait by clicking add wait time there, you tap add a, enter a posted time, there is another option to time your wait where it will actually pop up a timer that you can start and then stop right before you get into the ride vehicle. So for something like the Haunted Mansion, you don't stop it at the stretching room, you stop it when you're about to get on the ride. And then you can submit it, you can submit it right away, or you could submit it when you get out of the attraction if your signal isn't great. That Those actual wait times help us a ton because those kind of tell us if our projections are right and the app will adjust the projections during the day based on your feedback feedback and what we're seeing in the parks. If you have made a mistake and accidentally tap done when you didn't mean to, if you scroll all the way to the bottom here, you will see your completed steps. You can simply undo it. You can remove steps and you can add steps. Going back up to the plus step here at the top, you can simply add any attraction you like. You can add a meal at lots and lots of different places in the Magic Kingdom here I'm looking, or you can add a break and re-optimize your plan and everything uh, will work out just fine. And that's about it. As always, any other questions you have, please leave them below. We will answer them. And if uh, anything requires another video, I will happily do that too. Thank you very much for watching. Be excellent to each other.